All right, so here's a distance version of our nighttime Halloween setup here. I'll kind of do like a panoramic view of everything. Unfortunately, my iPhone is not focusing on everything, so now I'm using my little flip cam. And this really doesn't do justice to anything, unfortunately. You would really have to see everything in person to really kind of get the benefits. Like we've got LED laser lights that are going all over the place. We've got, as you guys can see up there in the window, we've got little eyes that are lit up in the windows. We've got holographic skeleton heads that are projecting on the wall on the above the garage. Um, we've got, I'll kind of try and get closer, but you can see those little black lights. There's actual skeleton masks that are actually on the lights there, which are pretty cool. But we'll kind of go over everything piece by piece. Some things, there's one thing that's not working right now as far as lights go, but there's the Dracula you guys saw earlier. That's what he looks like all lit up there. The pumpkin, there's generally three lights that track that trickle down inside the pumpkin that are not working, unfortunately. There's our uh, Marcus de Carcass with a strobe light animation. There's our Dead Men Tell No Tales guy with his uh, tombstone there. And then we've got our little uh, multicolored, it's like a little arm that comes out of the ground and holds on to the little skeleton lamp with the little skeleton lights that kind of trickle through the mesh netting. And then this guy here, his head used to actually spin like this and he would actually look around but I think he's got a broken neck over the years. And then right here, Here's our cool little witch I was telling you guys about, that she has her little cauldron of bubbling water and mist. Pretty cool. You guys probably don't see on the house there. Well, maybe you guys do, there's a little bit. But there's actually like little green LED lights that are uh, projecting all over the house. I wonder if we could cut it off on the sides to where it only shows on the doorway. Yeah, I don't know. Like and that. then this is actually what that is coming from, is where that little, this little projector box here, this is actually what is projecting all those little green LED lights you guys see all over the house. And they're pretty strong lasers, like there's a warning on the back that says, like, warning laser radiation. <laughs> laser radiation. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got these little pumpkin guys here that are solar powered, but unfortunately with them being solar powered, we kind of installed them later in the day to where they didn't get a lot of sun, so those aren't working right now. Oh, and then up place. there on the house there, there's the skeleton uh, projection that's going above the garage. This is not the final setup of it. We've actually got a tent, another inflatable arch that the kids actually walk through to get to our house for uh, getting candy. We'll show that on the day of. But that guy's pretty cool there. Did you show him the witch? Yeah. The cauldron? Yeah. And then over on this side, it's like pitch black out here. Here's the, uh, here's the ghost with the graveyard and pumpkins with the bats that actually fly around that constantly get caught up right here. There we go. There's the bats that fly around and funnel through that. And then on the back side here, there's this tree right here. You guys can't really see too well, but there's a bunch of like little skeleton and lights and stuff that we'll have lit up the day of Halloween. And then here's like our little Halloween express train. Here's the front of it here. There's the conductor there that'll give you a high five as Tyler likes to <laughs> likes to give him high fives all the time. He's my pal. And then here you've got a little uh, graveyard, rest in peace, with some jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. And there's an actual ghost that deflates and inflates that pops in and out. I didn't notice that until just now. Really? I had this like two years. Yeah, see he pops out just like that. 
And then along the back side, we've actually got a Count Dracula that used to work. Um, he used to deflate and that door would close and then he would reinflate and push the door open again. I was wondering why it was like that. Yeah, but now he just stays out like that. I actually kind of rewired him to just stay open like that. Why are you ripping it open? That stays on him like that. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, he used to just push it open, but I kind of rewired him to just stay in an upright like that and keep the fan just blowing instead of it being turned off. And then last but not least, I'll kind of show you guys our porch lights here. These are what our porch lights are looking like here. They've actually, those are actual Halloween costume masks that we bought at the store that have black lights. Just a standard black light that's inside the lens. And then we just put a Halloween glow in the dark mask over it to kind of to kind of project masks on our uh, on our walls here. And there's our little skeleton, and then there's the other mask right over there. So there you guys go. There's the nighttime version of our of our Halloween setup. We'll do another one on the night, the actual night of Halloween, because we add a lot more stuff to it and lights and a tent and the archway. It's a pretty cool experience. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys on Halloween. Have a great day.